Hello, welcome to another Facts and Dimensions tutorial video. In this one, I'm going to cover the data dictionary, specifically the English uh, NHS data dictionary. And the element I'm covering is a table in the release details schema called data dictionary table name changes. Um, this one comes up a few times in our forum where someone notices that new codes for a particular attribute don't appear to have appeared in our in UK health dimensions. Now, this is always because the the data dictionary uh, people they will sometimes have a need to change um, an attribute name to a different attribute name. So, for example, from birth head um, circumference to birth head circumference in centimeters. Now, when we started this business many many years ago, we agreed with the pilots, and I'm happy with this decision to this day that the only sensible way to deal with them changing an attribute name is to treat it as if the old name was a discontinued uh, attribute and the new name were represented a brand new attribute. And to help with customers so that they can actually see that change happening, we've got this table you're looking at now. And I've just mentioned these two. So that's the change and you've got the document that the change has referred, uh, that we got the change from and when it happened. So you could use that in your code. Uh, just looking at this one then, birth head circumference. Um, if I go on the data dictionary website, let's see. It's a hell of a massive website. And they do an amazing job keeping this together. I don't know if you know that one of the reasons that they have to change these names, for example, um, is because the data dictionary in the NHS is actually an amalgamation of lots and lots of different dictionaries that have no relation or even care for each other. Um, and the people who run the data dictionary website, they have to come up with a way of putting it all together in a single massive dictionary, which is very useful for us users, without any clashes. So sometimes they have to um, be more specific in an attribute's name so it doesn't clash with something else. Um, there'll be other reasons why, and if you want to understand in more detail why they have to make these changes, you need to ask them because I'm not uh, in a position to fully explain it. They explain it all to me and it just sounds like a nightmare. So they're doing a great job. Uh, right, so with this example, uh, birth head circumference in centimetres, um, where we found the change had happened, that was in CR1738. So let's go back to here. This is where you got the release history. We've got two people in our in UK Health, in our facts and dimensions in the team that go through these horrors, um, looking at all these changes and amending the database accordingly. So one seven three eight we're going to look at. That's this one here, and the PDF is here. So when this came out, the team went through it to find all the many, many, many differences. And I'm just going to locate this one just so you can see for yourself the sort of things that we're, we're looking at. Earth head circumference. There we go. So you can see it got renamed from birth head circumference to birth head circumference in centimetres. And therefore, in the database, we've retired this one and started a new one. And uh, we could actually have a look in the data dictionary itself to find the two tables uh, just right here so that's the one that was retired and you can see it's retired because where is latest equals one it has a valid two date and if we load this one that has a valid from date of the next date so there you go thanks